Now I'm going to teach you how to draw black fur. Now, it really depends on your reference picture where the fur is, but I got this picture from Guardian, and I'm going to do it based on this dog right here. Oh, you can see my camera. Huh. Uh, so as you can see, there's some light. Oh, nope, not that one. Whoops. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> As you can see, there's some light around the eye, especially on top of it, and um, there's some below it as well. And the dark parts are um, in front and behind the eye. So, to work on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by using my black and telling myself where the dark parts will be. So, there are some dark parts over here. And then it touches around the eye, just like that, kind of like a tri triangle. And then there's some dark parts that go from the back. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blue pencil. Now, when you're drawing a black dog, it's not just necessarily black and white, but you have to look at the undertone as well. So, some dogs have like a blue undertone, some have a uh, purple undertone, and others have a brown undertone. So, depending on what you see in your photo, you'll have to really see uh, what it looks. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it, but yeah, there's three different types of undertones that you can do. So here's an example of a dog that has all three undertones. So around the muzzle, um, it has long fur and it has kind of more of a brown undertone. But as you can see below the muzzle near its shoulders, it's more of a purple undertone. And near the darker parts of the dog, it's more of a blue undertone. So depending on the picture of your dog, you can see which undertone it has. Or you can reference the one that I'm showing you right now. So you have to really look in your photo and see if you see more of a brown color, a blue color, or a purple color. Now for this dog, I can see a brown color, so I'm going to work with brown. As you can see, it's more brown around these areas, so I'll work with a brown undertone. And maybe I'll add some purple in it because there's some purple parts as well. So now I'm going to use my brown pencil and I'm just gonna lightly very lightly shade all around the area great so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my white pencil now with the white pencil you're gonna show everyone where the light parts light fur of the dog is so basically there's some light fur around this area and up here and as well down there. So I'm just gonna draw, I'm gonna flick my pencil, as I always say in my tutorials, to make kind of like a fur-ish um, pattern. A fur-like structure-ish, I guess. Just flicking my pencil like this. And I'm also wanting to make sure that I follow the guidelines so that all the fur is going in the same direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use black I'm going to tell myself where the fur is going. Very lightly, though. So just like this. Just so then you know what direction it's going. So let's do this. White. And then... Now that I've darkened this part right here, I'm going to zoom out a bit. Now that I've darkened, uh, and sorry, now that I've lightened these parts over here with my white, just like this, I am going to use my white once again, and I'm just going to do it very lightly around the dark areas as well, just so then we have um, what seems to be layers of fur. All right, perfect, great. So now, as you can see, it's very, um, scr the quality right now is very scratchy uh, because 
I like, I like when I draw, I like my drawings to be solid instead of having patches of the white paper showing. So normally what I do is I will take the color um, around this area. So this area has a white color. So I'm just going to color this whole thing white and then below here white as well. And then outline everything white very dark so now we still know what direction the fur is going and we still know where the dark parts and where the light parts are great so now as you can see it is um, solid now you can't hardly see the background on the paper okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brown color once again and we're just gonna shade where the brown parts of this dog are so the brown part um in this dog is in between the black and the white parts so i'm going to draw so i'm just going to shade lightly over here and then over here and here now there's some brown parts over here as well so i'm just going to shade that in perfect great so now what we're going to do is I'm going to use my black and now I'm going to draw fur everywhere. So we'll begin here and I'm just going to flick my pencil just like this in the direction that my guidelines are going. Just like this. Now on the dark parts you can go really dark and on the light parts um, just try to do minimal, minimal fur and yeah. So depending on what type of dog it is, it can have long fur, long, medium, or sh short fur. Now I'm drawing a Border Collie and it has kind of medium slash long fur. So on the small parts, I can do short, but when it comes to um, the light parts, I have to show that it has long hair. So I'm just gonna... Um, when I flick my pencil, it's going to go longer in the light parts than when I flick it in the dark parts. You get it? Because look, if I go like this, it'll look as though the hair is longer. And in the light parts, I just flick it very slow, small, uh, very shortly, sorry. Just like this. And yeah. So now I'm just going to draw black everywhere, remember? lighter in the light parts not so much black for in the light parts but a lot and very vibrant in the dark parts as well all right so from here i'm gonna get my white pencil and again i'm going to draw fur all around the dog now drawing fur really depends on how many layers you do so just continuously draw i just continuously add layers until i'm happy with how it goes so with the white very lightly very minimal on the dark parts just we're adding them on the, 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 the we're adding them on the dark parts just so then uh, we're able to see that this is not just the color black on the dog but it is fur because we're able to see the light parts of the fur in the dark parts as well and just tiny hairs and then on the light parts I'm just gonna draw some more hair now on top of here. As I told you before, this is where there's a lot of hair, and the hair is fairly long, so I'm going to flick my pencil longer than I did with the white part. And again, down here, there's some white, and here. Now what I'm going to do is, because there's a brown undertone, I'm going to get a darker brown pencil, and I'm just going to draw some fur everywhere as well as I've told you before or I haven't under the undertones blue purple and brown um, they they are mostly rel they're blah, they're mostly seen on the light parts of the dog so when I do this brown undertone I'm gonna do it more on the light parts 
and it won't completely be blue. So, uh, it won't completely be blue or purple. So when you do blue or purple, be really, really careful that you're not making it too vibrant. Just so then uh, we can kind of tone it down with the white. So just like this. Making some more fur. And from here, we continue to add layers. So this is looking pretty good right now. I'm just going to add some more black everywhere. Now, what I like to do is... Or, now, what I do is I go from black to white to brown. So I continue to add layers until I'm satisfied with how it looks like. So I'm just going to continue to add black to the dark parts, remembering to keep flicking my brush, my pencil, sorry. Um, I'm gonna Again, then going with white, continuing to add layers. The thing with drawing fur is you have to be really patient because it takes quite a lot of layers to um, work on the drawing. So to add layers of black, white, and brown, I like to go in an order. So sometimes I like to start with black, then add some more white, then add brown, and then I just continue. To be honest, working with or working with pencils and drawing fur takes quite a while, so you have to be pretty patient. All right, so that's my tutorial on drawing black fur. Sorry, it's not so good, but maybe I'll show you how to draw it with the different undertones, such as purple, blue, and this one was with a brown undertone. Again, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, um, it didn't turn out as planned, but it still looks like fur. And if you tried this video, please, Post it on Instagram if you have it. And tag me at jovart 14 I would love to see what you've created. And I will try to make more videos with different undertones. Click on these two videos if you're interested in watching a tutorial or my most recent 